Setting is wonderful uh, and is of a high standard. With the little one I've seen too, I'm happy with the people working here and with the setting and the way the arrangement was done. I think it is excellent. The school management have uh, been trying a lot and uh, they have a focus on every vision. And I'm, qu I'm quite sure that if they can continue with this vision, the sky is not the limit. I'm not saying sky is the limit, but sky is not the limit of what they can get to in the world, not in Nigeria, but in the world. Down to the laboratory, they really tried. The students, the hostel, it is superb. When I say wow experience, I know what I'm talking about because I'm also in the business. So setting up a private university is not a small business, it's not a job, and they have really done well. Kudos to the management and all the administrative staff. Right from the entrance gate, I was highly impressed okay. because uh, when we were at the hall, it was mentioned that uh, it's like a prophet has no honor in his own mm -hmm. I've been hearing at Shiva University over the radio, especially when it is, it is time to pay again in the morning, but I've not been to this place and I'm working in the world. So right from the entrance gate, in fact, when I got to the gate, I said, this is the Ashiva, the Ashiva. Ashiva. So I was thought I thought it was a glorified university, a small university. But when I enter and I started viewing the structure, I was highly impressed because uh, by the grace of God, I've been to so many universities, so many universities. But what I saw here is an Ashiva University. Ashiva University is 40 years old. You are working. I will have to do the work to serve the Our intention is to be. We don't really want the best, we want to receive the best. And we need to encourage the best to remain at that level of being the best. To start to answer one direct question as to whether we have a scholarship program to assist uh, for the benefit of the best uh, school I would say that we have uh, an array of programs whereby even those who may not be that prominent or we don't have had the opportunity of attending an institution of this class 
can come here and study tuition free programs. We have 12 or such programs right now. It was mentioned earlier. We know that our, our good friend, uh, the Yotuba from the Adjustments, he came from a longer distance, had a longer distance to come back. So we arrived a little bit uh, after we had uh, commenced the, the facility problem. We have 12 programs that are transition free. Programs like uh, political science, uh, international relations, accounting, business management, social uh, sciences. Oh, okay. These are the programs on the screen. Twelve of them, including human anatomy, human physiology, all these are there, tuition free. That's to say that a student comes in, he registers, he doesn't pay tuition for three solid years. He only pay tuition. He only have to pay tuition at the final year, which is the fourth year. So even if you be saving a token. Uh, that's from the hundred level. By the time it gets to that four hundred level, you have saved sufficient amount to go through that program. And also, we have we have our uh, programs in engineering. Uh, because of the facilities we have, we can accommodate more students. And to improve for these more students to learn us, council and the magnanimous in allowing fifty percent discount in tuition fees. That is for the tuition in the all the courses the engineering that will be reduced by 50 percent, and for the for the entire duration of the program, and the 50 percent will be 50 percent of the same amount throughout the first year period. So it's not a question of saying 50 percent of X amount, and next year that that amount will have gone by two or so. On. It's going to be the same amount for five years. So when it comes to being generous or being attentive to those who in that institution are too much to make the best. And we announced that those who are about 480 students benefited from this tuition free agreement in the last uh, academic uh, session. And before I took us to university, you want to study some of the courses in this place, you will get to UN. Like the first to introduce nursing science in this state. And uh, our program, all our programs are approved by the National University Commission. But I want to thank you to explain to you. Many parents have been calling to ask me questions about, for example, College of Law. They will go to the website of MUC. They will see approved. They will see nothing accredited. They will not ask me what the difference between approved and accredited. This law has not been accredited. He said, I have picked this matter up with Professor Rashid, the Executive Secretary of the National University Commission. When you approve a, a program for a university, whether that is there, University of Ibadan, University of Lagos, Achievers, Covenants. You approve it. You say, go and admit. Run it for three or four years and invite us for accreditation. So the first approval, what is it? Before you give us approval, you visit that university, whether federal government university or state university or private, you will look at the facilities. You interview the lecturers, you look at the furniture, everything. You say you are satisfied. Is that not accreditation? You now go and put it in your website, approved. Until you come back for second accreditation, you don't put it there accredited. So that's the problem with the music, that's not my problem. But as far as we are concerned, our integrity is intact in this way. We will not admit any student. To any program that is not approved or accredited by the National University.